Topping our news at this hour, a company's operation at Port Manatee is shut down after two sulfate fires sparked just 10 days apart. Five people are recovering after being hospitalized during the latest fire last night. ABC 7's Jess Dowdrick joins us live from Port Manatee to explain what's causing these fires and what the company responsible is doing now to prevent more of them. Jess? Good evening, Haley and Scott. This big yellow mound behind me is sulfate, and this is where these fires keep happening. Fire crews say when sulfate dust gets dry, that it can easily spark a fire. And with the dry conditions that we've been experiencing so far this season, these fires are getting out of control. A spark from a piece of equipment is being blamed for the fire that erupted on a sulfate pile at Port Manatee Wednesday night. We had a similar incident about two weeks ago. Ten days earlier, sulfate dust also created another fire that engulfed a truck in the same location. Fire crews say it's not the sulfate itself, but instead the dust from the product that can easily catch fire. If it's in a wet slurry, it's very stable, it's very safe. Once it becomes dry, the friction from a, a dump truck or a tractor can start a small fire. Luckily, both of these fires were quickly contained and posed no health threats to the community. Five people were hospitalized Wednesday night, most suffering inhalation issues. Yeah, I want to say those folks were treated and released probably before we finished uh, what we were doing. There's some concern at Port Manatee about whether these fires will keep reoccurring. The company that leases the land from the port, Logistex Corporation, ensures it won't as they plan to change several safety procedures. The company itself is conduct conducting an extensive um, safety review and is meeting with the appropriate authorities at the moment. And um, they will implement measures to ensure that an incident does not happen again. Logistech executives say health, safety, and the environment are their top priorities, so they've shut down the operation until changes are made. They plan to no longer use machinery to handle the product, but instead do it by hand. They also plan to install a sprinkler system. Fire crews say the dry season is contributing to the issues. Their process is to keep the slurry on the loading docks where the dust accumulates uh, fairly wet and they do that on an hourly basis. More than likely what we suggested to them and what I think they're going to do now is instead of running that water truck around by the hour, they're going to do it probably every half hour at every 45 minutes to keep that stuff wet. They don't want this to happen again. We don't want it to happen again. Port Manatee officials say they will be monitoring the situation to make sure that these changes are made, but they said they are confident that they will be. Reporting live at Port Manatee, Jess Daldrick, ABC7, your Suncoast News.